Have we covered anything yet? Well, we yeah, started off. We covered by... the Ottawa uh, big announcement about uh, um, about their new captain, Eric Carlson, 24 year old defenseman, and the signing of Bobby Ryan, and uh, that has given uh, Eugene Melnick some credibility as an owner. Hopefully. Well, you know, he's he, he's. I, th- I think he's done a pretty decent job um, since he's purchased that team or put the team there. Isn't he the founder of that team? No, no, that team has gone through so many different versions because... I did not know that. Through ownership. And he was the original guy to bring that team to Ottawa. Was you know who f- brought the team to Ottawa? Firestone? Bowie Coon. Bo- Bowie <laughs> Coon. <laughs> there, that's some interesting history. Bowie Jason Coon. Paul was the lawyer that... Ottawa should never have had a franchise. Never! Oh, Hamilton no. should have had it, and uh, they, they, tried to, they tried to ticker with Batman. But 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 why? I'm 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 not trying to create an argument with you. Why would Ottawa not deserve a franchise? They they they, they languished with a junior team. They filled a lot of seats with the junior team. They proved that they're you know they're very very um, affectionate towards the game. Why? Other they know the game, but Frank, the numbers, the success of a pro- professional franchise is directly related to that city's metropolitan population and ottawa is five hundred thousand if it's that yeah but it, it, it pulls from gatineau it pulls from all the surrounding areas no but that's the, that's the problem nobody comes from gatineau into ottawa they don't do that no i guess to the extent that you'd use it as a part of the formula so they're they're lucky because of their numbers that they do as well as they do and the reason that they have is they've had good teams up until uh, I, I well, thought it was an incredible sports uh, city, and they really love their their teams. And you know, it's uh, I, I, so I so so how many? I'm going back to what you said, Terry. How many different owners uh, w- went through in Ottawa? I'm going to just loosely suggest it's going to be about anywhere from two to four. I could be wrong about that. You can go through it, but the the problem to me with Ottawa, insofar as the hockey team is number one, it's way out in the boonies. Number two, it's a it's a government town. And there isn't a lot of money to be spent to pay for high tickets like that. It, they don't sell out because it's one thing to talk about the junior hockey team. It's another thing to talk about the professional hockey team. It's, the, the economies of scale aren't I've anywhere. I've been to a lot of games at the Senators. They, they do very well. They've got huge corporate sponsorship. They've got uh, the, the, the corporate boxes are always full. What, what do you mean? They don't sell out. They don't sell out. If the Leafs are there, they do because... Uh Five or six thousand pools drive down the 401. And the same as if Montreal is there. Yeah, that's right. So, so they got like, I, I think I think uh, the, 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 there's there's logic in having a franchise there. In my in my modest view, it may be logic to me. It's part of the problem is where they put the rink to begin with. When you put it out in Canada, it's no longer the Ottawa Senators. It's a suburb which is very far to get to. There's not a lot of ways to get in and out of there. It, to me, if you're looking at the junior hockey team, it's basically right there in Ottawa. And, and with all the development that's happened now with the football team, if they could have ever put a stadium in that area, it would have been perfect. just wasn't the right people behind it. So, 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 so I, I like where the uh, rink is. I, I agree with you. It's a little bit out of the, the way, but I, I like where the rink is. Uh, there's, there's lots of uh, cool things in that area. Uh, there's some great golf courses. There's some great, uh, uh, great hotels. I, I'm a big fan of that area, personally. Well, it is. Hey, Frank, there's nothing wrong with the area. It's yeah, not, it's not. I, I don't think it's the boondocks. Uh, I, 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 I really don't. I, I mean, Ottawa is. It, when you drive to Ottawa, it's it, it's a major commitment. If you fly, it's not. Uh, be, no sooner do you get on the plane and put your seatbelt on, you got to take it off. Uh, but to, to drive drive there once you once you're on the 401, and then you see Ottawa, you you think you're there, and you're not. You got to go up that highway, and it's still going to take you a, a while to get there. So it's a major commitment to drive from Toronto to Ottawa. But the thing is, this is Canada, hockey, Ottawa, the nation's capital. It would seem to be so synergistic, so automatic, that if they put a hockey team there, that it would sell out. But it, it's, it's historically had problems. I'm going to say a lot of it has to do with previous ownership. When it was between Ottawa and Hamilton, Ottawa put on the better kind of bid. Not necessarily money-wise, but it I, was I just, a better presentation. I, I, I'm not trying to get the people of the Hamiltonians pissed off at me, but I just think if you put a team in Hamilton, you're going to kill the Buffalo uh, franchise. Because uh, the Buffalo I franchise, it. I would say, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm close, to about 60 to 65% of the fans are from the Niagara Peninsula. 
I don't think it's that high, Frank, but it's a big piece of it. I don't think it's uh, uh, You know, every time I go, to, and I've been to many Buffalo Sabres games, and I love it because it's a, a great, it's a bargain. If you want to see the Leafs at a bargain price, <laughs> go to Buffalo. It, it, it's, it's just incredible. You can get seats at a really ridiculous price. You have a great time. It's a great rink. And every time I go there, I believe, I feel like I'm still in Canada. Yeah, I, don't, I, I agree. No, I mean, we've, when I was with the Leafs, I mean, we, we, we never played in Buffalo unless the rink was packed. And, it was if, if, and, and the, uh, the supply and demand was simply related to the number of people that came across the Peace Bridge. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just telling you that, you know, I, I know the people in Hamilton have always wanted a team, and, and, and you know, they've, they've held their breath every time uh, uh, Mr. Bettman speaks, uh, where they're, they're going to put it, and, and there's a lot of people with big money and, and that would love to put another team there, and I think that it would make financial, it, it makes no sense, no fucking sense to me, that in New York, there, uh, there's, a, there's a professional uh, NHL team within uh, 40 minutes what three of them? Four of them. Well, if we if we bring that up to an hour and a half, there's five of them, six yeah. of them. Put Washington, Philly, and New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. And, sure. and what baffles my mind, where where we live, breathe one sport, uh, one major sport in Canada, which is hockey. You have one franchise, one franchise. In 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 in, uh, in in a, a city that's uh, with the greater GTA, you know, it's it's almost five million people. It makes no sense to me.